Welcome to Wednesday Morning Wazzy. I'm your host, Wazzy, and it is Wednesday, my dudes. How is everybody doing? Mm. Beautiful, a party horn to wake me up. Thanks, Kakashi Lover. That's exactly what I needed. Welcome, everybody. I'm not even on the right screen. Whoops, sorry. I was doing animation before this, and then I was like, ah, shit, it almost 10. I better get to work. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me, ooh, let me save this and, uh, and, and, and get rid of that. Um, don't worry about that. That's not an animation I'm working on in the background. No, that's, yeah, that's crazy talk. You're crazy, crew. Why, what are, what do you mean? Anyway, um, yeah, welcome everybody. Uh, time for our requests, as usual. Um... Uh, yeah, anyway, good morning, Sourlag, good morning, uh, Nocturnal Blade, good morning, Kakashi Lover, good morning, Gears, uh, good morning, Bots, uh, good morning, Aura Wolf, it, y good morning, Draft Swine, um, fucking, let's, let's do this wet garbage, uh, oh, Bots got their, uh, emotes done, I'm, I'm very happy for you, Bots, I can't, that's, that's, that's fucking rad, um, uh, Aura says, good morning, Wazzy, and also everyone, um, Gear says, wish me luck, I'm going to draw. Ooh, that's a bad life choice. Um, Draft says, guess who was stuck on traffic on the freeway? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to guess not Draft. Uh, oh, man, sorry. My perspective is all messed up now because I was streaming with Banani yesterday. Let me fix this up. There we go. Get more of the actual screen up in here. There we go. Now we got now we got actual canvas space to draw. <laughs> uh nothing muffin. Oh my god, that's a good name. I like that. Anyway, nothing muffin says, "Hi, this is my first stream. I love your videos on YouTube. So I wanted to check um you live and finally have the chance." Oh boy, are you, I hope you're ready to be incredibly disappointed. Uh anyway, let's get started on our requests cuz I whoa, wait, shoot. We got to do the prediction first. Prediction. Um, also, everybody, um, I will be returning to Crowd Control Pokemon um, on the October 2nd, I think it is. Um, so this is a chance to get some points if you don't have them. Um, let's get some predictions in here. Um, start a prediction. Uh, how many art requests will I get done? Um, and I'll give you guys 15 minutes to pick. There we go. All right. <laughs> Nothing Buffin says I live and breathe disappointment. What damn. Uh thank you, Kakashi Lover, for both a hydrate and a stretch. Damn, it's morning and I'm taking care of myself. Wow. Um, all right, let's see. What do we got for, for request today? Um hmm. We've got me nuking Quebec. Uh Gears and Not Gears. Um, Rio Lu cosplaying as Venti, uh, the crew worm, but a goat or a dandelion, and thick Ultraman. You know what? I'm gonna draw a dandelion goat because I feel like that'll be fun. Also, Aztec's here. Good morning, Aztec. How goes the struggle? <laughs> How goes the day to day struggle? Uh, <laughs> Draft says, hey, Wazzy, how do you play this gym of mine? It's actually pretty fun. You mean game? Draft, what are you talking about? Draft, you gotta be, you gotta be more specific. Why did I pick the goat one? I'm terrible at animals. Fuck me sideways. All right, let's, let's, let's do this. I gotta look up a reference picture of a goat. Is that sad? Well, it's Wednesday morning. Shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm allowed to suck in the Wednesday mornings. My gift to you is the worst art request stream you've ever seen. Um, let's see. Oh, also a voice actor just got back to me literally this minute. That's fucking dope. Okay. Um, goat. <laughs> 
That's not how you spell goat, Wazzy. Good try. Uh, I spelt it with a Y, if you must know. Um. Oh, Photostar says hello. Hello. And Aztec says, well, I'm going to have a lot to do, but I'm going to a fair on Friday. Oh, dope. What kind of fair? Is it just like a, like a, oh my God, are you going to the state fair? Are you going to the place where they're like, I've never been to a state fair because I'm Canadian mostly. Um, but are you going to the, like the kind of state fair where they're like, watch Billy Bob Thompson eat like 19 hot dogs. And you're all like, damn, that's impressive. And then like, they have like jelly festivals. Um, I don't know all what they do at state fairs. I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't know what they do at state fairs, but I know like there's food eating contests mostly. <laughs> Um, Draft says, this gym of mine uh, is a Pokemon fan game. Oh, okay. I've never played that. <laughs> uh, Gear says, now nah, hold up. How do you spell goat with a Y? Oh, instead of the T, you put a Y, and then Google goes, what the fuck are you talking about? The cool thing about goats is they've got these sideways eyes, but we also got to make them a dandelion. Hmm. We're just going to give him a little dandelion hat. He's going to look like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in that one meme. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Fucking ace. All right. Sketch layer complete. Do I have to Do I have to draw the rest of the goat when it's my art stream? I've decided, you know what, we're just going to give him little legs. We're just going to make him a little guy. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I, I know what goats look like. Fuck off. Um. As Aztec says, I live in a city that has a tri-state fair. Oh, you live in the tri-state area, which is technically any three states that you put together. <laughs> Sour Lad says, I nailed the interview and have orientation tomorrow. Oh, that's dope. Congratulations, Sour Lad. Y yay working. That's sometimes good. Hopefully, you know, they're nice to you and you don't, like, set the store on fire. I mean, you could if you wanted to. I'm just saying. Stick says, I'm going to get me a turkey leg and some tornado flies. Fries. Fuck. I can't read. It's morning. I can't read. Fuck. Uh, Aztec, I don't know what tornado fries are. Is this going to be like that time you guys told me about taco on a stick? Am I about to be unreasonably angry? Or are they just curly fries with a stupid name? Aztec, are you just giving fucking stupid names to food now? Because that's just a curly fry. If you're telling... Oh, man, I better not have to Google this and get unreasonably mad at you, Aztec. Uh, Nothing Muffin says, Mostly rides and fried foods at fairs and games for prizes. I want to go to one that it's like, Oh, we've got the best... Like, you, where they, like, judge the county pigs or whatever. They're like, This is, a, this is the county's best pig. I don't know if we have anything like that in Canada, really. I don't know. I've just, I'm just like, I'm, I'm just like enamored by the idea of like a county fair where you go and like, there's like a chili cook off or something. And like, um, like Martha from down the road is made like jelly and jams and she's selling on the side of the road. And you're like, damn. <laughs> Rotostar says, also general carnival stuff and food vendors affairs. You know, traditionally rigged games. Man, I loved rigged games. I am the best at spending money at rigged games. I am, I go in with the confidence of Narcissus and I'm like, let's, let's do this. Even though I know in my little Yu-Gi-Oh heart of the cards, the game is rigged. I like, I like run in there. I'm all like, ooh, I'm excited to do this. I got this. Um, and I and I run in with that, and unfortunately, um, when I don't win, I go, "Oh, I've almost got it. Here's more money." Um, so yeah, I'm like I said, I'm terrible. Um, Hero Vibe says, "Lurking while on the treadmill." Yeah, you get that exercise in Vibe. You do that. The rest of us are gonna be lazy and sit here and do whatever it is we do while we stream. I'm drawing. I don't know what the rest of y'all... What's the rest of y'all excuses? <laughs> um, um, Proto says, are tornado fries like train wreck fries? What the fuck is a train wreck fry? Aztec says, tornado fries are deep fried and piled stupidly high. What the fuck is a train wreck fry? 
Oh my God, am I going to have to kill everybody here? Are you guys going to tell me terrible things that I don't want to hear? Because I'm not, I'm not interested in it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not interested in yelling at you guys about curly fries this early in the morning. It is not, it is 10.09 in the morning. I am not looking forward to yelling at you about curly fries and then being like, dang, I hungry because I yelled about curly fries. Also, Iconic Boar is stopping by. Thank you. Um, Estic says, I get mine with chili cheese. Sourlight says, never trust fair rides. They are built in a few days and held up by some bricks. Eh, it's probably safe. <laughs> Nothing Muffin says, my favorite thing to, to get at a fair is funnel cake and ride the Gravitron. I, listen, I'm not a big, huge ride person, but I do, I do like rides. Um... But, like, I, I suspiciously, like, trust the carnival rides. Like, if you roll up, like, okay, so I've doxxed myself before. Who cares? I live in a city where there's a big, stupid rodeo. Every year, there's the world's biggest outdoor rodeo, and that includes stupid fucking rides. Every year, it happens without fail, except, like, COVID once. Um... They have this big stupid fair. It's called the Calgary Stampede. It sucks ass. Um, and every year they have these really sketchy carnival rides that are built in like less than a week. But I like those. I trust them for some reason. I'm like, they're, they've they got like a zip line and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll go on that zip line. I trust that. <laughs> um, Aztec says, well, uh, so what my fair is like, we have food rides farm related things like livestock show and a crop show and there's also a rodeo oh so yeah it's the same thing also good morning uh both trail mix and plops have joined hello good morning welcome to the stream i'm working hard on art i don't think i'm gonna get that many done today if i'm being honest with you i'm talking a lot and this goat is taking up a lot of my time <laughs> Kikachi Lover says, speaking of Heart of the Cards, are you still uh, annoying Matt? Uh, no, because I haven't really seen Matt too much today. He woke me up this morning and then went to work. Um, so I've been kind of on my own, so I haven't been able to get him with any Yu-Gi-Oh! related um, memes this morning. <laughs> Proto says, I am also drawing. Oh, good. It's always fun to doodle together. I know I don't have background music, but whatever. Um, Aura Wolf says, please don't let me be the only one who knows what hurricane fries are. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to Google it. All right. You know what? If it's just curly fries, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be so mad at all of you. Curly fries. Tornado fries. Tornado warning. <laughs> Tornado fries. It tried to autocorrect it to fires. Oh, that's just a potato on a stick. Are you talking tornado potato? Are you talking, are you fucking talking a tornado potato? Because that's just a skewered potato. Is that what you're fucking talking about? Because if so, Aztec, I'm very disappointed in you. I'm very disappointed that you would think that is a delicious treat. That's just a that's just a skewered potato that somebody decided to cut up for fun. Um Gear says petition to have a crew day where the mods take Wazi's drawings and mutate them. <laughs> um Estic says, so just imagine two or three potatoes curled with toppings that you want. I'm okay. I'm bringing up a picture. This is what I'm seeing when I'm looking up tornado fries. And if this is what you're like all jazzed Don't about, talk, this is not how you do it. L listen. Oh God. I'm going to butcher that name in a minute. L give me a minute. Tornado fries. I'll tell you what's coming up when I'm, when I'm bringing it up. And if this is what you're all jazzed about, this is sad looking. This looks like some potato chips. That have been put on something. Copy image. Hold on. Hold on. Is this what you're all jazzed about? 
Is this the thing you're all jazzed about? Because that doesn't look that great, Aztec. It, that doesn't look that great. Anyway, we got to welcome a new crew member. But right now, if this is what you're talking about, I am so disappointed in you. Um, welcome to the crew. Oh, boy. See, I want to say, part of me wants to say Axel. It's A-E-X-L. So I don't know if I should just say A-E-X-L or if I should say A. Al, it's not Alex. It's got the right letters for Alex. It's got the right letters for Axel. But that's uh, it's not the way I would spell it. God, how am I gonna pronounce this name? Welcome to the crew. Axel, I'm gonna say Axel. Welcome to the crew, Axel. You know what? Fuck it. I probably aced that. <laughs> Smoking Sierra says tornado tomato. God, I don't want that. Um. <laughs> Oro gave me a win anyway. I'll take it. Uh, Nothing Muffin says, fun fact, walking a walking taco is just a taco ingredients on a potato chip bag. Oh, no, we don't call that a walking taco. We call that um, a taco salad in a bag. We call that like taco in a bag. We used to do, do that at school all the time. You would just get Doritos and you'd crunch them up. And then you would just put like the toppings to a taco in the bag. And then you'd shake it up and then you'd eat it. And it was just taco in a bag, and it was delicious. So I know what you're talking about, um, nothing muffin. We just wouldn't call it a walking taco. Aztec says that's not it. Well, then I'm glad. I'm glad this is not what you're all amped about. I still don't know what your tornado fries are. I looked it up, and that's what I got. So um, I'm just I'm just saying I'm disappointed. Um. I've decided I'm going to make this worse than the request was um, by making the goat itself into... It's There's actually a cryptid that has a sheep on a, on a stick, and I can't actually... Like a plant thing, and I can't remember the name of the cryptid now. Um, but there is one. <laughs> Proto says, I do want to see the crew uh, mess mutilate the Jenga boys. <laughs> Or Wolf says, yeah, but they're kind of sliced through f fries, not wedges. Do you mean curly fries? Are you implying... Cur Man, I don't want to yell about curly fries all morning. Curly fries. I'm going to bring up curly fries. And if this is it, I'm going to be so mad. Here we go. Is this what you were talking about? Is this the tornado fries you're talking about? Because if so, that's a fucking curly fry and you are wrong. I'm keeping that there. <laughs> gonna, I'm going to make my dandelion goat stare at the fucking, uh, fucking curly fries. Aztec says, I will take a picture and tag you in the Discord when I get them so you know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Aztec. I appreciate that. Then I can then I can tell you wrong with tell you you're wrong with actual facts. Also, DVD Wings here. Good morning, DVD Wing. Smoking says, just imagine, uh, imagine it just ends up being a baked potato. God, I would be so mad. I would be so mad if you if it turned out that this tornado fry was actually just like. Like, just a baked potato. You're like, D check out my tornado fry. And it's just a ba a wet baked potato. <laughs> uh, hurricane fries aren't curly fries. Okay, good. Because that's a curly fry. I know there's different dialects in different places, but man. <laughs> also, apathetic potatoes here. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> How's the work going, buddy? Um, Aztec says, by the way, it's nothing like the kind of curly fries. It's wider than that. Okay, well, fine. I still hope you have a good time at the fair, even if um, it's weird. Even if, even if you're just eating curly fries with stupid names, I still hope you have a good time at the fair. And that you win one half-decent prize from a very rigged game. I hope you play play the balloon popping game. That's the only one I'm good at. Um, I hope you... Crew, there's a good question. Um, what's your favorite carnival game? 
If you had to play a carnival game, if you if you were in a saw-like situation where somebody was going to kill you, they were like, do you want to play a game? And you, like, had to play a carny game, but they let you pick which carny game you get to play. Which which game would you stake your life on? Which one, which one do you think is going to be the best one for you? Mine would be the the balloon popping with a dart. I would I would totally do that. Essex says weekend busy. Worked nine hours Monday off yesterday and today. Much pain. Mini mons. Oh, that's a rough apathetic potato. <laughs> um, thank you, pups, for the bonk. Um, nothing. Muffin says, yeah, the balloon darts are my pick. My best game too. Uh, the only one I'd bet my life on. As Sticky says, which one is? Or sorry, not apathetic. Says, which one isn't rigged? That's the that's the trick, apathetic potato. They're all rigged. You gotta you gotta choose. Which one are you betting your life on? Uh, DVD Wing says, I think the water gun play since that's more an easy one. Proto says, I like the water gun where you got to hit the target to fill a balloon and pop it. Aztec says, I mean, that fair also has a lot of weird food stalls. I think one sells crocodile, one that sells pizza, one that sells just bacon with food. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, okay. <laughs> Screech Dog says, wait, who complained about work hours? Come at me. Listen, you all work hard. Listen. Listen, crew, don't fight about who works harder. The problem is, is we're all a slave to capitalism. That's the truth. We can't get mad at each other. We shouldn't be arguing about who works harder and who works more hours. We're all a slave to capitalism. <laughs> Phoenix Wolf says, none. Um, no hand-eye coordination. No, you've got to pick one. You've got to pick one. Listen, the, are you just going to let the little saw jigsaw man win? Are you gonna let are you gonna let the puzzle master win? Are you just gonna lay down and be like, well, you might as well just off me now, you weird little puppet. <laughs> I don't I don't wanna play your game. <laughs> um Apathetic Potato says, ah yes, then I choose the one that I can't lose. Death. <laughs> uh Gear says, uh, crew the art she drew of me is rad. Uh, Lava King says, Wazzy, go to sleep. No, it's uh, technically it's wake up time. Technically it's morning. I should be waking up and I'm actually more awake than normal. This is, this is a wake Wazzy. Like it's, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing a pretty okay job. I still only got like half of an art request done, but like I'm doing, a, <laughs> but despite that, I'm doing, I'm doing a pretty awake thing today. <laughs> Kakashi says the balloon popping game Essex says I would say the one with the rubber ducky either way I win um, since I'm not the one with the hammer or Wolf says bumper cars bumper cars is not a carny game that's a carny ride and like if there's no way to win bumper cars you just are playing bumper cars that's not a that's not a win situation you don't you don't get a prize for bumper carring the best <laughs> uh screech Chuck says flip a coin if heads i win if tail tails he loses <laughs> apathetic says complain about my hours no never i enjoy my work i get money which i pay b back in taxes you know they're like an indentured servant exactly we're all listen we don't argue here. We're all trapped by capitalism. It's fine. It's fine. We're doing great. The world is fine. <laughs> Lava King says, Wazzy, without the bags, this avatar looks cuter uh, than the ponytail. Really? It's because that's how I normally sleep. That's... I Listen, I made this PNG because I was like, hey, that's how I look when I'm sleepy. And if I'm going to stream in Wednesday mornings, I'm going to be sleepy, which I normally am. Um... And I decided um, that, you know, that's my usual morning look is my hair is all technically, actually, my hair is usually way more fucked up in the mornings, if I'm being honest with everybody. Um, <laughs> it's just fucking everywhere. Uh, Nothing Muffin says, also, the take home a goldfish game is an honorable mention. You bounce a ping pong ball into a fishbowl, I believe. Oh, really? 
I remember, I remember as a kid one day, um, there was like this big event at my local swimming pool. And as you all know, I can't swim anyway. Um, but I went to the big event and like, there was like a bunch of like little, little games and everything. And they filled the outdoor children's pool with guppies. And I think it was like for free, you could take a little bag and you'd waddle around in the, um, in the little kiddie pool with a little like sandwich bag, essentially. And you'd try to catch the guppies with it. And if you caught a guppy, you got to keep the guppy. And that was, that was, that was essentially the game was just, Hey, waddle around in the kiddie pool and catch a guppy. And, um, I did it because why wouldn't we get free fish for a fucking, like, what was I probably seven year old? I was like, dope, yeah, I'll I'll do that. So I totally won a guppy. And then I remember my what happened was I was walking home with this big bag and I didn't have a fish tank or nothing. I didn't, like, nobody f thought this through. But, like, they just, like, gave you a guppy and we're like, well, that's that's your problem now. Um, and so I remember walking home with this guppy and my mom rolls up beside me and is like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm going home. I've got a guppy. And I like held up this bag with a fish in it. And she's like, where did you get a fish? And I was like, at the pool. And she's like, oh Christ. So then I had to get in the car and then we had to go get a fish tank and everything we needed to, so that I wouldn't just murder this guppy immediately after getting home. Whoops. <laughs> so basically they poisoned all those fish. No, there was no chlorine in it. It was the outdoor kiddie pool. So what they did was they had essentially emptied the kiddie pool and then just put water and a bunch of guppies in it. And you just caught a bunch of guppies. And that's how I started actually uh, getting fish. Was uh, because they <laughs> they let a bunch of unsupervised children just take sandwich bags of fish home. Because it was, listen, it was the late 90s and no one gave a shit. Okay, I'm going to be 100% honest. Nobody gave a shit in the late 90s. They they were just willing to let children walk away with sandwich bags full of guppies, okay? But my mom was smart, and she took me to the pet store, and we got a goldfish bowl and, like, those fancy rocks and everything. And I kept that, gold, I kept that guppy alive for a while. Um, but yeah, it was the nineties and you could just, you know, you know what they say, give a child a fish and they'll slaughter it within a week. Um, anyway, let's attempt to do a second art request today. <laughs> let's, let's try to get a several art requests done today. Um, all right. Who haven't I taken an art request from in a while? Um... Oh, female Pepsi Colgate because the new Fire Emblem trailer didn't want to show it? Fuck yeah. I'll do my version of the f new Fire Emblem protagonist. All right. I can't even remember what it's called. Fire Emblem... Um, Engage, I think it is. <laughs> Fire Emblem Divorce. Um, engage. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to draw my interpretation based on how this chump looks. I'm not going to look at the canon designs or fan it. I'm just going to go with my little Yu-Gi-Oh heart of the card. Um, <laughs> Nocturnal Blade says, I have many bad memories with bumper cards. I nearly died riding them. Nocturnal Blade, you don't nearly die doing everything, I've noticed. <laughs> I noticed that seems to be a theme with you. You enjoy near-death near death and real-life ex death experiences. As, uh, Potato says, ah, yes, the time before every kid had a phone and internet access. The things we did, the mud we had on our pants somehow. Pop says they never used chlorine in the kiddie pool. Wild. Yeah, it was just an outdoor pool. Like, because it was outdoors. It was just like, it was literally like not even a half foot of water. 
And, like, it was just, it was outside, so, like, nobody used it because there's always, like, twigs and piss and shit in it. Like, it was the kid, it was, like, the baby pool. And it was always outdoors. Um, I'm gonna draw, she's gonna be thick. Listen, crew, I don't know what to tell you. She's gonna be, she's gonna be thick. It's just how, it's just how it happens. I don't know what to tell you. I don't want to sit here and lie to you and tell you she's not gonna be thick because she is. Maybe I'm drawing her too small. <laughs> I'll give her I'll give her a bit more. I don't want to draw her fully, but I also do because I don't want to listen, if I've known anything from Fire Emblem, it's that the female character always has to be wearing less clothes. <laughs> Am I gonna make her uncomfortably thick? Yeah, of course, it's Fire Emblem. Have you never met a Fire Emblem character? <laughs> um Proto says you give a kid a fish and they'll and you teach them the fragility of life. Yeah, I think it was some kind of life lesson. I don't even know what that was. I'm gonna ask my mom about it later. Cause I definitely remember this event, but I have no idea why they were giving away guppies at at the pool and why my mother let me go unattended to a pool knowing I can't swim. <laughs> DVD Wing says, by the way, I am not the only one who thinks their hair looks like toothpaste. Yeah, it. you're not. Listen, I've been, there's three people I know that have the whole blue and, um, and red hair design going on. And, um, there's Penny from Pokemon. There's a character named Penny, uh, in the new Pokemon game who has red and blue. Um, there's, of course, my friend Banani has red and blue hair on her avatar. And then, of course, uh, Colgate from Fire Emblem Engage. And um, I'm going to be honest with you. I call them switch heads. So, you know, that's just that's just how it be. All right. Perfect. Look, she's looking great. She's looking she's looking so thick. <laughs> Uh, Screechuck says, the next Fire Emblem, flame sign. No, I'm waiting for Fire Emblem divorce. <laughs> Nocturnal says, I have a very unhealthy body. It's part of why I'm in the hospital bed, living here surrounded by beefy machines with numbers on them. <laughs> TV Wing says, and anyone can marry to anyone. Except, listen, I like Fire Emblem games that do that. When Fire at Listen... Listen, when they're like, hey, I made, <sighs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to date Chrome. However, if I could not date Chrome, I had a backup husband, which was Stahl. And then I was like, if Chrome can't date me, my back, my backup wife for Chrome is going to be Olivia. And then so I was like, oh, me and Krom got married. Perfect. So I made Stahl and Olivia get married because I was so smart about it. Listen, just always put your backup wife and husband together. Or wives and husbands together. You know. If you've got two backup wives, make sure that they get together. Um... <laughs> Nocturnal says, if I could make the protagonist thick, if that was an option. Gear said, why did I come back to titties? Who the, fu who the fuck do you think is streaming right now? Honestly. Also, are titties not just the, the asses of the chest? And you know I'm all about butts. I love butts. So technically, boobs are also great because they're just the ass of the, of, of, of the chest. Pup says, if you can see it from the front, wait till you see it from the back. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you just got to be that thick. Also, another fun thing about um, female protagonists, especially when it comes to the Three Houses, Three Hope series, is if you've got a male protagonist, they are well armored and ready for combat. And if you've got a female protagonist, they're just like, I've got my booty shorts on and I'm ready to roll. So um, if you think for one second that we are not going to put her in the most ridiculous outfit... Then you, you are, you came to the wrong stream, buddy. I gotta look up this dork's outfit. I know he's got a dorky outfit, but I, 
I don't know what it looks like in its entirety. Oh, it looks terrible. Man. All right. I also got to figure out what I'm going to do with her hair. <laughs> Lava King says, Wazzy, your new avatar is cuter than the ponytail. No, I, I like both. Brett's and Butts are just excess fat. Exactly. Put her in the Trish, Trish from Devil May Cries outfit. No, we she's got to keep some of the same themes. I don't see... Listen, I don't see why male characters can't run around in booty shorts. I would definitely play a game if you're like, Hey, welcome to Fire Emblem. Our main character only wears booty shorts. I would be all in for that. He's he's running around fighting fighting monsters in a crop top and booty shorts. Listen, crew, if any of you are, have an interest in making RPGs and character design, you should design an RPG where the main character is a dude in booty shorts fighting monsters. I'd buy that game. I know a lot of people. <laughs> Joke's on you, Miss Wazzy. I made ma female Byleth a fortress knight. Listen, I make... I make my main character every class I can. With the exception of Dancer, because I usually have... If I play in Blue Lions, Felix Dancer. That's just that's just how it goes. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Um. Okay, there's his dumb-looking outfit. So... What is her dumb looking outfit going to be? I'm seeing a lot of pictures of her now. Now that I'm looking up him. And she is wearing a skirt because I knew she would be. But not in my universe. I'm going to give her. I'm going to give her booty shorts. That say like. Fire these emblems baby on the back. <laughs> Phoenix says booty shorts for all. It's true. Listen, we are equal opportunity booties around here. We don't care whose booty it is. It could be your booty. It could be my booty. We're equal opportunity booties around here. All right. DVD Wing says, Frankly, I'm more scared of the woman who fights in a dress than one in armor. Because the armor she's prepared for battle. The dress, this, um, the dress one, this is just a Tuesday. That's, you know what? That's true. If you go into battle looking unprepared, people are going to be terrified of you. If you if you roll up and some dude's like riding a dragon, shooting arrows off of a dragon, and you just roll up in booty shorts, man, you're probably going to have a bad time. Everybody's going to be like, whoa, look at this person in their booty shorts. And like, maybe you'll get stabbed. Who knows? Who knows what will happen to you? All right, look at this beautiful cake. I got to make it themed to the things, though. So he's got a lot of white and blue going on. So we're going to give it, like, the perfect little stripes. Yeah. Who's ready for combat? <laughs> uh, Lava King says, if my avatar wears booty shorts, uh, I'm dropping the franchise. <laughs> Listen, why would you drop the franchise? They're They're ready for party. <laughs> Um, DVD says funny, funny thing I have an OC who is a guy who never wears a shirt I mean there's nothing wrong with people who never wear shirts if that if if that's the, the path they've chosen in life then like you know what good on them I look at Balthus okay from Fire Emblem also three houses um, and three hopes he never wears a shirt He's doing pretty all right for himself. Yeah, he's massively in debt and has a gambling problem. But other than that, he's doing perfectly fine for himself. It's okay to not wear a shirt. <laughs> um... <laughs> Did you know that fishing is just gotchas for dads? Gears, get out. Don't fucking, Don't fucking do this to me. Did you, Gears, did you know you're just your parents, OC? Don't you fucking come in here with fishing is gotcha for dads. I will hit you back with the you are your parents, OC. And now you gotta live with that knowledge. You can't fucking come in here and try to curse me. I'll curse you right back. 
Equivalent exchange. Um, flesh is just one thing that should be swapped with metal. Nothing Muffin says, I mean, the three hopes seeing female Byleth approach me um, in those leggings terrified me. Yeah, that's that's true. You're like, this woman is going to fuck my shit up. <laughs> I don't know who this woman is, but she's going to she's going to F me up. Nocturnal Blade says, same thing I always make the main protagonist is what my units I'm trying to master as many classes as possible. Mercedes mastered all the magical classes. That just meant she's best suited for. Fuck that. Slap some two-ton two, two armor on that on that dumpy because it's fortress night time. You ain't mastered that yet, so get on it. Listen, the only class that I am 100% down with is Felix has to be a um, a dancer. I, I don't make the rules. It just Felix rolls up and he's like, I'm a dancer. Okay, so for top... I'm thinking she's got to have like a bikini tube top, but she's also got to have this cape ordeal going on. So, um, original character, do not steal. <laughs> uh, 100% ass, 100% tits, 0% thigh. Yeah, she's got no thigh. Don't worry about her. Listen, her legs can barely contain the weight of her body. It's fine. Lava King says it's one of the clothing I despise. It provides no tactical advantage. <laughs> Lava says, did you know childbirth is gotcha for genetics? I mean, yeah, I guess. Kakashi says, unicorn testicles where the dr are where dreams are born. Kakashi lover, I also hate that. I also hate that. <laughs> DVD Wig says, I'm not my parents' OC. I was their OC randomizer. Oh, yeah, that's true, I guess. They just went into the character creator and hit random a bunch of times, and then you came out, and they were like, well, I guess. I guess we're going with this one. And, uh, and, that's, and that's how it happened. The username Asia was taken, so Wazzy was the next best option. How dare you, Sour Lad? Listen, the truth, the truth from my mother is that the whole reason I wasn't named Asia was because she couldn't think of a middle name. And that's the only thing that saved me from being named Asia. All right. So watch your mouth. <laughs> but she needs dummy thick thighs that could crush me. Fine. God. I like, I like the idea of her having no thigh, though. I think it's funny. <laughs> Give her an eye patch. It's cool. <laughs> okay. Fine. I will give her just thick thighs, though. Her calves are going to be smaller than normal. But I will give her thick thighs. I'll give her th really thick thighs and no calves. I want her to be statistically impossible. I want, I want when she comes out, everybody goes, that's unrealistic body standards. But then they don't like say anything else about it. They're like, that's the only thing. Her design needs to be incredibly not complex. But complex enough that people don't want to cosplay it. <laughs> uh, there we go. There we go. Isn't she beautiful? Miss Colgate Fire Emblem. Miss Miss Fire Emblem Ninth Divorce. All right, and then we'll give her a little. We'll make an uncomfortable under boob shirt. Oh yeah, and then she's got to have inexplicable armor, but only on one side of her body. She's got to have like a like a cool like like a dragon or something on just one side of her body. One of her arms is going to be totally armored up. So she's ready for combat. Uh, Gear says, did you know that any given moment there could be a spider inside your stomach? The reason is they can't do anything is because of the stomach acid. I mean, I feel like the stomach acid would um, like dissolve them before they were a spider. You know who <laughs> likes bingos? My mom. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Lion Tamer, for the 50 Bingle Bangles. <laughs> I was joking, Wazzy. It's your art skips leg day. They never skip thigh day, but damn if they don't skip leg day repeatedly. I haven't even decided what I'm going to do with the hair or anything. Oh, man. She's looking beautiful. I love her so much. She's going to be so perfect. She's the most perfect character ever. Um, and then she'll just randomly have one gauntlet on this side. But it's like a pretty gauntlet. It's not functional at all. Like if you touch it, it's made of porcelain. It's it's fine. It's it's fine. Oh, she needs shoes. You know what? Nothing says I'm ready for combat like, like Crocs. We're going to give her combat Crocs. She's, I hate Crocs, but she's going to have Crocs, but they're going to be in battle mode. So they're going to be the kind of Crocs that have, like, they're around the back of it. Like, she's fucking, she's fucking ready to go. Look at her combat Crocs. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is exactly how I want my Fire Emblem characters to be. Combat crocs and everything. Nothing says fantasy world like crocs. Um, but we'll give some armor to her legs just so that her little weak shins don't get completely annihilated like Achilles. Crocs with socks. Oh man. Mmm. Mmm. Crocs with socks. I mean, how can I deny Crocs with socks? It was such a. It's such an. Like a gentle request of just please, madam. Please put some socks on there. Just. That's pretty good leg armor. Good leg armor is just socks. It protects you from wet grass. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the socks are her armor? Yes, it protects her. It's fine. It's perfect. She's she's great. Look at this outfit, everybody. She's doing, she's doing some top-tier work here. This girl is going to get it. She's... She's ready to date all them Fire Emblem men. I'm actually not that excited for Engage, if I'm being honest with everybody. Um, because I don't like the idea of bringing the old characters back as summons. I, I hate that. Like, genuinely, on a personal level, I dislike it. Um, and I'm just... So I'm not that hyped about it. Like, I get it. They're like, oh, yeah, we're that's the emblems. We're bringing in heroes from other worlds. But if I'm being honest, I hate that shit. Don't you fucking isekai some characters to bring them in. Let them stay in their own games. Like, fucking... Oh, man. She doesn't even have a head, and she's ready to roll. Wait, I gotta probably grab some other elements from the actual <laughs> outfit. Oh, yeah, he's got a lot of weird... Like booby designs, so we're gonna give doodle doodle doodle. These aren't cutouts, these are designs. I mean they could be cutouts. It is the female protagonist. These could be cutouts. Oh, and she'll have an inexplicable cloth under boob thing. Yes, perfect. That will have trace elements of blue on it. Oh, don't worry, this is gonna be this is gonna be the tits. Literally and figuratively. Um, she'll also, like most Fire Emblem female characters, have a choker for no reason that's probably got a mystical magical gem that they never talk about on it. Man! Perfect. All right. Now she doesn't even have a head. Let's get her head. Now I gotta design how her hair is... Oh my god. Crew, I just had the worst idea and I'm really sorry for everything that's about to happen. Um, for, for those of you who, um who came here on a Wednesday morning for a nice chill time to just like, you know, haha, let's have a little bit of art requests. Let's have a little bit of fun, you know. Um for those of you who who were just who were just here for a, just a nice quiet gentle time with no um terrible things happening, I apologize. Uh I just want to come out right now and say it. Um I apologize for what's about to happen. But uh you know what? You're here, so let's uh, let's ruin everybody's life. Um, sorry, let me catch up on chat a little bit. Um, the socks are armor. What a, what if the entire outfit was cleverly designed suit of armor to make it look like it was missing pot? Um, 
to make it look as misleading as possible was over the top strong. I mean, if there's anything I learned, and this is from um, this is this is from Persona Three. So Persona Three, they have um this really strong armor. Um, and also it shows up in Persona 4, but it's just cosmetic. But in Persona 3, they have, like, this bikini armor for the girls in Portable that's really strong that people use. Um, so just, just, you know. It just shows that the, the, the more exposed your body is, the more, the more, you know, powerful you are. Lava King says, I don't think they're summons. They're just equipment. Listen, they hang around. They fucking, they, they are floating around like JoJo stands. I'm going to have to see a little bit before I play it. I'm not going to, it's not going to be like three hopes where I just jumped in. Cause I was just like, yeah, give me my characters back. Um, I'm going to wait on it a little bit before I jump in. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Nothing Muffin says, yeah, I love the character from Fates, but I'm not going to want to date slash marry any of them since they won't be related to us. <laughs> Fire Emblem uh, characters seeing the female counterparts and having a midlife crisis. <laughs> so like Mirio, who gets naked every time he uses his quirk. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's, just, it's just how it goes, everybody. <laughs> um. <laughs> so this idea came to me as I was thinking, how am I going to do the hair? And um, the first thing that came to my head was it's like Colgate. Um, and so I should try to make it look kind of like a uh, kind of like toothpaste, right? That was... That was my initial thought to it, right? Was I was like, man, how do I make it look like toothpaste? Um, that's where we are right now. Is we are at the, how do I make it look like toothpaste part? And if you can see where I'm going, <laughs> you're not going to like it. Uh, <laughs> uh, put the march away don't make me counter this well you know what <laughs> i was thinking ralph wiggum uh it could have been ralph it could have been ralph um but my brain instantly went to you know what the thing about colgate is it comes out in a tube and um <laughs> you know who else has blue hair um marge simpson so um here we, here we go. Uh, here is, here is my interpretation. Um, <laughs> she's, she's looking, she's looking hot and ready to party and I'm going to have her looking right directly into your soul. Um, <laughs> this is just Marge as a Fire Emblem character. How me? Um, <laughs> I can't do a good Marge impression. If I could. Um, all right, now we just got to Colgate her hair up and then we're, we're good to go. Um, it's, <laughs> all right, that's it. I'm drawing porn. Well, you, you do you, man. I'm not gonna, listen, we don't kink shame here. We just, uh, we just judge you harshly. You know how it be. <laughs> Specif specifically of this Marge Fire Emblem character. I love it, but it's so cursed. Listen, you can't you can't sit there and be like, hmm, how do I draw? <laughs> listen, it's the listen, listen. Um I don't know how to explain this. I don't know how to I don't know the right words to apologize. Um I don't <sighs> man. Um, I don't think there is, there's no Hallmark card for this kind of situation. There's no, sorry, I made Marge, uh, into a Fire Emblem character and you all got disturbed by it. Like, um, there's no, there's no Hallmark card for this kind of situation. We're just going to leave it as it is. However, if you want to, if you want to make this into a Hallmark card and send it to one of your friends and be like, happy birthday, I... I hope you have a Marge and only good time. Oh my God, we should make 
birthday cards out of stream art. Um, but like, if you're ever like, I hope you have a marginally good time, um, you put it on a birthday card, you know, that's, that's how it is. Okay. How does the Colgate, what are their eyes? Do they have two different colored eyes? Oh, of course they have two different colored eyes. Oh, that special fucking OC bitch. Look at you with your two different colored eyes. Boo, boo. I'm so disappointed. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, he's like, he says, I'll be down for that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Nothing Buffett says, I really hope the memes about their hair changing colors to match your joy cons is true. Man, that would use, that would, that would actually be pretty dope, actually. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even mad. I just learned yesterday that the Splatoon hair colors change, uh, depending on what team you are, and I'm very, uh, sad about that, actually. I wish that they didn't change their hair colors. Oh, yeah, Marge, you looking, you looking so good, Marge. <laughs> Fuck it. This is, this is fucking beautiful. This is, this is, uh, this is fucking beautiful. <laughs> Someone mod this into the game. Someone marge this into the game. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. Um, so most of the outfit is white, but there is, like, um, yellow and blue and red to it and a little bit of black. So we're just gonna... We're just going to have some fun with this. We're just going to We're just going to go ahead and see what happens. You know what? If crimes happen, this is your guys' fault. I don't know what to tell you. Um I don't have an excuse. I don't have any I don't have any words of wisdom here. Oh, I forgot the underboob. There we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Muffet says, "No, nah, legit just got a Simpsons ad." Awesome. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. We want to ruin... We, we Listen, we just got to ruin the day at least once. <laughs> Perfect. Look at, look at this outfit. This is top tier. This is Fire Emblem at its finest. This is the finest Fire Emblem you will ever... You will ever receive in your life. Make this a DLC immediately. Like, this is... This is top-tier Fire Emblemine. If you've ever seen top-tier Fire Emblemine. Um, now I get to color their inexplicable weird armor that they've got on the side. Oh, man! Oh! Oh, I just thought of a better idea. Hold on. I just... I gotta fix... I'm gonna color up some, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> I'm gonna match your cursed shenanigans, Wazzy. Everybody's gonna hate this. Good. You know what? Listen, sometimes the world just the world is a little weird, crew. We just sometimes gotta make it a little weirder. Okay? Sometimes you just gotta wake up in the morning and just look at your life and realize only you can make your life worser than it already is. So you know why not you know what? Why not? Have a little bit of fun. Have a little bit of fun with your life. And you know what? If you got to draw Marge Simpson as a Colgate character from a Fire Emblem series, you know what? That's Maybe that's just what you do on Wednesday at... God damn, it's only 11 a.m. It's it's 11 a.m. and this is what we have made. This is 11... You know what? Just because they've got two different colored eyes, I'm going to make the fucking shoes two different colors. The fucking Crocs are going to be two different colors. Let's color the socks. The socks are not not going to be white. That's just how it happens. Look at how beautiful she is. Look look at Lady Fire Emblem. Listen, Nintendo, call me up. I'm I'm free. I'm I'm free for 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 for, for kids' birthday parties. Um I'm I'm great at character design. Um And uh, we just gotta finish. We just gotta fix this shoulder armor. Don't get mad at me for what's about to happen. 
Listen, you guys le you guys came here of your own accord. I just want to point that out. You guys could have picked any Twitch channel um, on Twitch. And there's so many that are live right now. There's so many Twitch channels that are live. And you could have went to any of them. So this is technically your own fault. You cannot blame me for the crime. Technically, we should blame Nothing Muffin. Because Nothing Muffin is the one who said, draw the female Pepsi Cola gate. Um, so technically, if you want to blame anybody for this... There's your, there's your person. Um, <laughs> there's where you can pin this crime. Listen, when the cops come to arrest me, when the Twitter, when the Twitch cops show up and are like, hey, Wazzy, enough is enough. You're going to jail for your crimes. I know who I'm pinning it on and I'm pinning it on all of you. I know we say no, there's no narking. But uh, let's be honest here. Sometimes you got to narc a little knock, bit. Knock, Sometimes you just got to do. It's a little bit of a narking. And um, you know what? This is all your guys' fault. Also, God, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for um, it's Lady Boner. Uh, welcome to the crew. It's Lady Boner. I'm sorry that this is what you joined the crew at. Uh, <laughs> I could tell you I, I can explain, but I really can't. Um, things just sometimes go downhill real fast here. And, um, but anyway, welcome to the crew. I hope you enjoy your stay, um, for however long brief it is. Uh, <laughs> perfect. Perfect. That's top tier armor if I've ever seen it. Yes. Perfect. Here she is in all her glory, everybody. There she is. There is Marge Fire Emblem Colgate. Here's, here you go. I hope you enjoy. There you go. There you go, nothing muffin. Uh, remember, everybody, this will be up for you in the Discord. You can do whatever you want with this except make NFTs for it. Um, so you can take this and you can, you can, you can print this out for your best friend and you hope and write, I hope you have a March Anali good birthday. You can print that out and give that to your best friend right now. You could you could go on you can you could go into the Discord when I put this up and you can print off the picture that says I hope you have a marginally good birthday and you can sign your name at the bottom and and say and give it to your best friend. And you know what? And that's what that's 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 on you though. You can you can do that for free. You don't even gotta pay me nothing. You can do you can have that for free. Just don't turn it into an NFT. I swear, if I find marginally good birthday NFTs, I'm burning twitch.tv to the ground. Um anyway, let me catch up on chat. Um <clears throat> Nocturnal says, boy, when they let Sora and Smash, I didn't expect the next time Disney and Nintendo would work together would be to let the Simpsons cast as playable characters in the new Fire Emblem. <laughs> Trail Mix says, we do a slight amount of narking. Also, I love that your, usually welcome, your usual welcome includes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Um, where can I buy this armor? Mmm, a MILF worth the drawing. You can buy this armor at your local Walmart. Oh my god, I forgot. She's, yeah, there we go. That's actually more accurate. Sorry, I forgot. Her stomach was out. I forgot when I specifically drew this. She was not gonna, do, do Simpsons have belly buttons? I drew the belly button, but I don't know if the Simpsons actually have belly buttons. But whatever, that's your guys' problem now. Um, boom, I think that just made it 100% better. There we go. There we go. I'm saving this because I don't want to lose a um, marginally good birthday. Uh, Sarlette says, normal streamers make Pokemon with tits. Wasi, make March Simpson Colgate. <laughs> Oh man, let's see what other cursed fucking requests we got today. Welcome back to Cursed Art Requests with Wazzy. Making making your making your nightmares fuckable. Um oh man, that should be our slogan. Making your nightmares totally thick. Um all right. Let's let's see what we got. Um a pumpkin cat, however you interpret that. Nap time. Whoops, uh, Dancing with Jake from Adventure Time. Was he enjoying the Dilly Bar? Me tired from a hundred hour work week. Ooh. 
a lowly muck smothering Wazzy with a hug? That sounds like it's almost fetish-like. That, that, that one's a little bit, that one's a little bit too far, I'm thinking. Listen, I already gave you, I already gave you thick Marge Simpson. What else do you want from me? Um, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take it. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna take a step away from that crime. And we're just gonna do something nice. We're just gonna do a pumpkin cat. We're just going to do a little pumpkin cat. That's going to be our little our little treat to ourselves for that crime. Listen, sometimes we just got to do a little bit of penance. Um so we're just going to we're just going to make a little bit of a pumpkin cat. Totally not thick pumpkin cat. We're just going to yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh De Cruz is here. Hey, what's Hello. Hello De Cruz. <laughs> Traveling says my nightmares are always fuckable. That's man, man. This is basically when Marge gets big boobs in this episode of The Simpsons, but turned into the anime. No, no, it's when Marge gets big boobs in The Simpsons, and then it's turned into a video game. <laughs> um, I'm waiting for the shriek of fear. <laughs> Uh, well, we're doing, we're, listen, we're just going to do, we're just going to do a nice little cat, a nice little pumpkin cat as penance for our crimes today. That's, um, that's what we're doing. Wazzy check discord. Uh, I will check it later. I don't check discord whilst, whilst streaming. Why? Because there's a simple reason to that crew. I don't check Discord while streaming because I get highly distracted. And unfortunately, I have like five ats sitting on me on Discord right now. And uh, I don't want to open that. I don't want to open the 19 ats I have in Discord right now. It's terrible. Um, it's, it's fucking, it's awful. <laughs> Every day I wake up in the morning and I have an ad on Discord and I hate it. Man, if there's one thing I hate, it's interacting. <laughs> you get highly distracted. No way. That's never happened to me, Trailmix. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never been distracted ever. I'm I am 100 percent business focused and totally, you know, a good guy that remembers my stories as I'm telling them halfway through. And remembers what I said last time. Also, thank you for lurking, Phoenix Wolf. We will see you. I, I'm so glad we scared Phoenix Wolf. Phoenix Wolf's like, I gotta take a moment. I gotta lurk. I gotta I gotta leave that Marge Simpson. I just gotta I just gotta go lay down for a minute. I just I just I saw it and I'm I don't know whether to be terrified or be in love, and it's just it's just how it is. Alright, nice little pumpkin cat. Yeah, that's that's ooh-woo-rific. Nothing can be cursed about a little pumpkin cat. This isn't even my best cat. I used all my artist energy on that fucking Marge. So now all the art for the rest of the stream is just going to be garbage. I hope you're happy, crew. I hope you're happy. I hope, I hope, I hope you go to sleep tonight and Colgate Marge visits you in your dreams and says... Mm, homie, I hope you have a marginally good birthday. And then this pops up in your brain and is like, do, 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 do. And then that, you, you have to sleep with that in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Because <laughs> it's your fault, crew. I didn't do anything. I'm an innocent party in all of this. Seacrow's here. It says, bro, is that a cat? It's a pumpkin cat, actually, is what is what the prompt is so we're just we're just gonna take that and run with it bubby says wazzy my new dorm mate has an emotional support animal it's a cat they want a piece of meat from my sandwich do i give them salami ham or chicken uh give them the ham if i know anything about emotional support cats it's that they also need to be emotionally supported so give them give them the ham. Ham is a rare treat. If a cat really wants to fuck up a chicken, it'll fuck up a chicken and eat a chicken. Um and a salami, well I guess it um 
I guess it can't make a salami either. All right, there we go. Non-cursed art. There you go. I did put a shine on the pumpkin, but that doesn't mean it's a butt. We just made a nice little pumpkin cat. There we go. A nice little, a little art to cleanse our palette of Fire Emblem Marge. Of marginally good birth. I hope you guys do print that out and give that to your friend as a birthday. That would be funny. Um, all right, let's see. What other terrible art can we draw? Um, hmm. All right. So one of whoops dancing with Jake from Adventure Time, um, but they're only going to be doing butt dances. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> Thomas says, thank you for the ham. Good. <laughs> Sarah Lad says, now make this, the stem a dinky. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, listen. Twitch, hear me out. You've never banned Ice Poseidon. Twitch. There's no reason, Twitch, for you to come in here and ban just a little guy. I'm just a little guy, Twitch. Listen. You you refuse to ban anybody who's doing really bad things. And if you're going to come in here and ban me for drawing just a little, little pumpkin dinky, listen. <laughs> listen. Don't, don't, listen, Twitch. 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 Don't ban me. <laughs> you know how Twitch gave a seven-day ban to a girl who literally had sex on the street? I know. I know, right? See, why would you ban me, a little guy who's not doing anything, um, when you could ban other people? Uh, anyway, so there's both... The requests are both nap time and Pwups dancing with Jake from Adventure Time. So I'm just going to draw Jake from Adventure Time dancing and Pwups passed out on the ground. Um... Because I can. And I'm going to make Jake from Adventure Time real thick. Do you know why? Because it's my stream. And if Twitch is going to... Listen, if this is my last day streaming, if the Twitch officials get a hold of Colgate Marge and they're like, ah, oh, go you're going to... You're going to uh, fucking jail, Wazzy. Um, fucking... You know what? We might as well go out with a big butt. She didn't have sex live at twitch dot uh, dot tv dot com again. Yeah, she did. okay. So the story with that, from what I understand, um, is she was totally getting banged on twitch dot uh, tv, and nobody said anything. And then she got a seven day ban, and um, that was it. And meanwhile, other people get like lifetime bans, but uh, hers was much more egregious, and they were just like, yeah. Yeah, she could continue to stream. It's fine. <laughs> and I also love um, Twitch will do these things where they're like, hey, we're going to put out a little survey. Have you heard any news about Twitch recently? Has it been good or bad or neutral? And like every time, every time they send out these things, it's always after some kind of bullshit has happened. And like I have to put... It was bad. Um, so fucking tw twitch, please. Anyway, I'm going to have little whoops sleeping. Um, also, this weekend, I'm going to hopefully not necessarily finish up, but it might be my last stream of um, um, Cult of the Lamb for a bit. So this weekend is Cult of the Lamb. Next weekend after that is Pokemon... Um, the return of Pokemon crowd control. Um, cause I want to finish that up before the new Pokemon comes up. And I think we're pretty close to it. Boom. Okay. That's totally good sketch art. <laughs> Pup says double cheeked up. Listen, Pups, do you also want to be double cheeked up? I'll do it. Listen, there's nothing stopping me. I could draw all of the characters with butts. Nothing's really stopping me. What's what's stopping me right now from drawing um, Garfield with a thick ass? What's stopping me? Like I've got I've got a pen 
and and a tablet. I've got I've got your divided attention slightly. Like what's what's stopping me from making crimes against the uni universe? What's the the greatest thing about being an artist is how many people you can curse with a single image. You, my beautiful artists, my beautiful, wonderful artists and writers and people who make food, the, the sooner you start living your life as a shitpost, the happier you'll be. Don't try to make good things. Just... Just make things that make other people wonder what the fuck is wrong with you. Just just go out in the world and create some motherfucking chaos. The world's fucked up enough as it is. Who's going to stop you from drawing thick Garfield? Who's going to stop you from making a burger that tastes entirely like like ham? Like I'm talking like what's stopping you from making bread that tastes like ham? What's stopping you? Nothing. That's right. Nothing. You could go out there right now today and you could make the ingredients. You could put every spice into everything. It's your life. And you know what? Fuck up as many other people as you can on the way. <laughs> Wazzy, if you draw thick-ass Garfield, you can finally claim to be a furry artist. Hey, listen, I said I would only do that for the certain amount of money. I'm not going to sit... Listen, A, I need to learn how to draw animals. B, somebody's got to pay me an exorbitant amount of money for me to come out here and say I am a furry artist. Um, Thinking about Garfield's ass has got me thinking about... Or I'm sorry, John. Uh, you made Chris Pratt Evangelion and Chris Pratt B-Tuber. I, yeah, I did. I, I, I did do that. The universe is paying you back for your crimes. <laughs> Very inspirational. I hope I can find my cringe someday. Yeah, that's true. You know what, crew? That's, that's the best way to do it. Find your cringe and make some, and, and make it somebody else's problem. You know, go out there and make a bubble gum that tastes like sriracha. Go out there and, like, write a fanfic that's just, write a fanfic that's just continues to update no matter what. Go out there and write, what is that one? I think it's a Super Smash Bros. Um, fanfic that is still continuing on and it's, like, the longest piece of literature ever. Like, just, just do that. Watchman says, money and work, also outside. No, listen, listen. What else are you doing besides cursing people? You can curse people for free. Look at this. Look look at this. I did this for free. You too can make can make terrible things for free. And you know what? It feels good. It feels good sometimes. Sometimes it feels good to just create something even if it's the worst thing ever. Because no matter how bad of an art you do, no matter no matter how bad of a thing you create, there's always going to be somebody who's created something just slightly worse. So, like, go out there and live your dreams. Purposely do things that are cursed. Oh, man, Jake, you're just looking like a big dinky. Oh, boy, he's looking like a, he's looking like a dinky. Listen, Twitch, don't ban me. I'm drawing Jake the dog. I'm drawing Jake the dog. Don't fucking, don't ban me, Twitch. Twitch, please. I'm just, Twitch, I'm just a little guy, and this is my job. I'm just a little guy, and this is, this is, I come out here every day, and I just, I draw a little dinky, and it's just, come on, crew. Come on. Twitch, don't ban me. Okay, crew, I have a question. If I got banned on Twitch.tv, and they were like, hey, you got to stop drawing them dinkies and they banned me on twitch.tv would you be would you at twitch.tv and be like hey yo how dare you i probably wouldn't i would probably be like yeah fair enough Aztec says so in other words um pull a meat canyon that guy literally makes cursed animations exactly just, there's always somebody that's going to be worse. Cause problems on purpose. Exactly. 
Uh, nothing Muffin says, I'm not going to be able to buy Engage because I won't have because it won't have Marge Simpson in it. Yes, but we can mod it. Listen, listen. Oh, God, I got to become a more cooler person on the Internet. I got to become a cooler Twitch streamer and YouTuber so that I have a massive not saying I don't like hanging out with you guys. I love fucking hanging out with you guys. But like fucking we need a we need people that are willing to take my stupid ass ideas and put them into practice. We need we need we need to find a dude who's good at modding games. I don't know if there's anyone in this crew that's good at modding games. We gotta find a crew member who's good at modding games so that we can fucking mod this Marge Simpson into any Fire Emblem game. We need to find, we got to find a crew member that's got, like, connections to, um, fucking, uh, Netflix so that we can get the anime Pillar of Dreams, the King of Jenga, live on Netflix. Like, we still need to make Infiltration Darkness myth. Yeah, we need people who can make video games in the crew. We need Infiltration Darkness myth. We need, we need fucking, um, a fucking Pillars of Hope, the or pillar of dreams the ant the king of the jenga anime we need we need marge simpson in in fucking fire emblem you know i'm just saying aztec says i mean i know you how to use blender but i'm but i'm okay at it listen listen if i said anything we can make things that are cursed it's fine it's fine listen sometimes we just need to I'm, I'm shit at it. I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm using a program that is so old. It recently had a birthday and I forgot to tell everybody it recently had its birthday. Um, but, but man. March Simpson is the only Fire Emblem character I want added to Smash Bros. <laughs> Babes of War. Uh, I just do critiques of comics and do comics. Listen, you should do a live critique of 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 marginally good birthday you should do a live critique of that you should go you should go on your platforms and you should be like damn li listen up nintendo we need somebody whose dad works at nintendo that's what we need the thing i've always wanted all my life i need i need some dude whose dad works at nintendo this is this is garbage. We need a dude who, who has a. We need somebody who knows Toby Fox on the phone. I need to become influential enough that I can just like text Toby Fox and be like, "Listen, I've got a game idea for you, <laughs> Infiltration Darkness Myth." And he goes, "You know what, Wazzy? That's brilliant." <laughs> and and he goes, "You know what? Who the fuck are you? Never contact me again." And then immediately blocks me on Twitter dot com. <laughs> Why don't more warriors wear Crocs? Because, listen, I'm going to tell you the truth. I hate Crocs. I hate Crocs. I think they're fucking stupid. I think Crocs are stupid and dumb. And they're ugly. And I do not like Crocs. I'm not a fan. Wait, if they made a fan list of, like, top ten Crocs fans, I would be nowhere on that list. Okay. They would be like... Who's who's the biggest Croc fan? These, these two barely known internet per personalities love crocs and they'll like put up some youtube personalities and then they'll be like who hates crocs and it would just just be a picture of me i feel i want to expand on on this actually i feel i want to i feel i want to go to um marge and and add on to it i feel like i gotta i gotta throw homer in there as more characters come out i feel i feel we should add to the fire emblem this I feel, I feel we should add more. I feel like Jake's eyes are wrong. Also is the other thing I feel in my little Yu-Gi-Oh heart of the card. Poops, are so, but they're so comfy and easy to clean. I don't care. I don't care. Crocs, cro I don't, I'm not a fan of Crocs. Cro Crocs are a bad time. I think his eyes are actually like this. If I'm correct. Maybe. What? Jake the dog, what what, what way does your eyes go? Oh, I was completely wrong. You don't even have pupils. There we go. That looks marginally better. There we go. That's ex Oh, I was right. It is the darker color. Okay. 
Well, okay, I guess we're going to use a Marge Simpson yellow on, on Jake the dog, just so that everybody knows. Um, <laughs> there you go. There's Pwup sleeping and Jake the dog dancing at them as they try to sleep. Little, little zzz to, to show that there is sleepy dream time. Let's put a little bubble in their nose. You know, you know how it be when there's sleepy time and then you got a little bubble that's like, I'm sleeping. Let's make a little bubble. Nice little bubble with a little little bit of opacity to that bitch. Oh, that's too much. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. There we go. Just a little bubble. A little snooze bubble. Perfect. Fucking save that shit. We're so good. Also, I had a request back here. Um... I've had I've had two hydrates and a stretch request that I didn't do either of them and a fact request. Um, I, so I gotta do all those. Okay, I'm gonna double hydrate. I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna hydrate, stretch, hydrate, then fact. Hydrate. <laughs> Don't fucking party horn me. Stretch. <clears throat> you forgot to recolor the skin around his nose. Oh, I did. Hydrate again. All right, and then a fact. All right, hold on. Don't bonk me. I know I'm so bad at my job. Listen, I was so wound up on the hypeness of drawing Marge Simpson that I didn't check any of the requests. Okay, I was doing. I was doing a bad job. Fucking bonk, Lavinia. Um. Did you know? That 68% of the plant species are endangered. That is a true fact that you can have live on twitch.tv.com. Um, okay, back to art requests. All right, we're doing we're doing really good today. We're doing we're doing a good job. Um, all right. Pickle cat terrorizing a pickle cat a cat pickle. You know what? That's just cursed enough to work. Bingle bangle. That's just, you know what? I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go do my own little thing. I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to do a little thing. Is it going to be cursed? Of course it's going to be cursed. Don't you worry. Um, now, a pickle cat and a cat pickle. I don't even like pickles. I'm on team fuck pickles. Uh, if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be honest with you, not a fan. That's just a cucumber in in gross water. That's what it is. And you should feel bad. <laughs> Team fuck pickles. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Boom. There is there is pickle cat and, and a cat pickle. We'll make the pickle cat biting the cat pickle. That's what we'll do. Eh, eh. Put your put your art together, Wazzy. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Scrooge Chuck says, my wife doesn't like pickles either. After she, uh, she hates it when I eat them straight out of the jar. Makes the sourest face I've ever seen. Why does she eat them then? I have a quick question for you. If she doesn't like pickles and she knows she doesn't like pickles, why the fuck does she eat the, why does she, why does she eat the pickles? Why does she go, mmm, my little pickle snack? <laughs> like. As Dick says, so I actually discovered something yesterday. Apparently, a pizza place near me makes a pizza with pickles on it. And I don't know how I feel about that. I feel bad. Oh, Screech Chuck says, when I, me, her husband eats them. Oh, okay. That's right. I thought she was eating them. I thought she was, like, making a sour face eating them. Being like, oh, I hate pickles. And then continues to eat them. And you're just like, wife, why? Why are you doing this? Um, Aztec, listen, you should order a pineapple pickle pizza. You should call them on the phone right now and be like, yes, for lunch, I will like a pineapple pickle pizza. Just so you can have the worst of every world. Just so you can experience true. What's the word I want? <laughs> so 
Sorry. Holy shit. Sorry, I meant to mute and I didn't have enough time to do it. Um, my face exploded. I'm sorry. Um, just so you could experience true sadness, just get a, get a pineapple pickle pizza and then report back to us. If you don't die, report back to us and, and be like, Hey, I did. I ate it. It was terrible, but I didn't die. Um, that would be really dope of you. Um, <laughs> um, Essex says, no, I would rather eat the brown part of a banana before I got to that. Trevick says, pineapple pickle pizza? Wazzy, why would you make me imagine this? Hey, it's your, listen, listen. If you guys want to be sad, that's your own business, okay? I'm not the one forcing you to eat Hawaiian pizza. I'm not the guy that ruined your taste buds. You can't come, like, sue me on, like, some kind of Judge Judy court show because I ruined pineapple pizza for you. Technically, you guys are the weirdos. Jacob says, I'm at school right now, Wazzy. Why? Hey, hey. Why the fuck are you on Twitch.tv when you're at school? Shouldn't you be doing school things? Shouldn't, shouldn't some teacher hear this over the phone and be like, hey, you fucking get that angry Canadian off the phone. I'm going to get you in so much trouble. Uh, call the... What is it called? It's not president. Principal! Call the principal! This kid's watching twitch.tv.com on his phone! This kid... This kid's got to watch twitch.tv.com on his phone live during class. Yeah. Yeah. But also no narking, I say. <laughs> Trailmix says, I don't even want to imagine it. I don't even eat pineapple on pizza. It's such a bad combo. Yes, thank you, Trailmix. I'm saying, listen, I don't like pickles. I don't like pineapples. There's a lot of P words I don't like. I don't like piss on my pizza. I don't like pineapples on my pizza. I don't like pickles on my pizza. I don't like puffed pastries on my pizzas. I don't like peas on my pizza i don't like peaches on my pizza just don't put things that have a pea on a pizza don't have a pp pizza okay that's listen this is on you don't have a pp pizza jacob says it's lunch this kid's on his phone at lunch that's i, I don't fucking know i don't know what teachers care about anymore <laughs> Hey everyone, this kid's not on the playground at lunch. You don't like piss pizza? That is far that's too far, man. Estic says, I've never seen this person, but there's apparently a place um where there's pizza that is, and I kid you not, green peas and mayo pizza. Oh, ugh, ugh. does anyone like their piss on their pizza pizza? Do you like pizza on your pizza? Well, no, don't put, like, little Tostino pizza rolls on your... Oh, my God, wait a minute. Tostino pizza rolls on a pizza. That might actually be dope. I'll have to try that. Okay, crew, I'm very tempted. I'm very tempted. Sunday. Sunday, I don't think I have anything going on. I think I'm going to make a homemade pizza. But instead of toppings, I'm going to go get a whole bunch of little Tostino pizza rolls. And I'm going to put a whole bunch of little Tostino pizza rolls on my pizza. Aztec says, also from a quick look at Google, there's also a kiwi pizza. Listen! We argue about this all the time, crew. But stop making shit complicated. Just leave it alone. Stop fucking adding shit. Stop making it weird. Pepsi, stop making it weird. Pizza places, stop fucking making it weird. Fucking... Um, who else makes shit weird? Chocolate people? Stop putting shit in chocolate. Fucking, stop making it weird. Leave it, leave it alone. Just fucking leave it alone. Sarlat says, so just pizza, no sauce, no cheese, just Tostino pizza rolls? Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'll make a pizza and then I'll put sauce on it. And then the only toppings I'll put are Tostino pizza rolls. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if Matt will allow me to do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if this is a legal thing I am allowed to do in this household. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find out if I'm gonna get evicted from my house for doing this. But man, I want to so bad. You don't like Pepsi on your pizza? I also don't like Pepsi on my pizza. I don't like spicy water. This should be a surprise to no one. I'm not a fan of spicy water. Man, I don't know how to tell you guys this, but don't put pee-pees on your pizzas. All right? D damn. Damn. I just want to fucking whip this entire tablet off my fucking desk right now in rage, but I can't because I got to draw these pickle cats. All right. Fucking the things I go through, the things you people put me through. I am in, I am in my own version of hell. Um, nothing muffin says Oreo and French fry pizza. That sounds disgusting. Nothing muffin, your pan, sour lead, sour lead, sour lead. Can you just give nothing muffin like just, just a little, just a little permanent ban, just as a little hee hee hoo hoo fucking <laughs> ban. Uh, Rachel says, um, hi friend. I just hopped into you screaming, stop making it weird while drawing pickle cats. Oh man, Rachel, you weren't here before. Um, I'm not going to tell you what crimes were already committed on this art stream, but I'm going to tell you it wasn't great. It wasn't great and I didn't do it and nothing muffin made me do it. Listen, I was, I was under duress and if the Twitch police show up, I'm going to tell them exactly that. There we go. We drew some wholesome stuff today just to make it a little bit better. And I'll make the other pickle a different color green. Listen, don't put cucumbers in gross water. <laughs> Leave them alone. Pope says, life is so hard for a little wazzy, but don't worry. I have the cure uh, just for when you're done streaming. Oh, I'm excited then. Is it going to be an argument? I hope it's an argument where I get to yell at you. I don't know if you guys know this, but me and Plups have our own personal server. Um, that's just us. Um, and in it, because uh, we talk a lot about many different things and then we can never find anything we're looking for. Um, but in it, um, we have a section that's called, um, I would like to have an argument. And it's literally just where we go post when we want to argue about something. <laughs> and it's great. And I love it. Um, Roy says, uh, saw that you're not on swear timer yet. Don't fucking do it. Listen, listen, don't fucking put me on swear timer. I have opinions. I'm not, I'm not doing any, any more requests today. Actually, I think swear timer, um, is that currently paused actually? Yeah, it is. It is currently paused. Whoops. Whoopsie doodle. I currently paused it. Oopsie. Oopsie doodle. I totally didn't do that on purpose and unpause it from last night. <laughs> Um, <laughs> nothing muffin says it's from Mr. Deeds, lol. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. We have fucking successfully drawn several arts today. Um, now I know I said I wasn't gonna, but I do kind of want to go back and ruin an art a little bit more. Um, just like. Because we've got Marge, we've got marginally good birthday going on, right? But I'm just, I'm, 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 oh, I geez, feel, here I go bingling again. Don't fucking bingle me right now. Um, Roy says, you make it hard to spend my hard-earned bits to annoy you. This is your fault. Thanks. Thanks, Roy, for the 25 bingle bangles. I appreciate it. I appreciate you annoying me at, oh God, it's 1130. Okay, I'm going to look up Fire Emblem Engage. Emblem. Engage. I know it's supposed to be doing your art requests, but hear me out. Hear me out, right? Um, images. They, I swear they showed more than one character. Than, than the Colgate man. I mean, yeah, I know they showed Marth. But, um, I feel like they showed other characters. Yeah, they showed one whole girl. They showed one whole girl, and she's kind of got a crown on her head that looks like a starfish. So you know what? This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. 
Uh, God, I gotta wait for it to load. <laughs> Roy says, "What is that?" Look, Roy, I don't want to. I listen, Roy. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna explain shit to you. Listen, what happened was, um, <clears throat> here's what happened. So, Fire Emblem, um, um, Fire Emblem, fucking has has a character that that has a switch head okay it's not it's not anybody's fault it's not anybody's um i can remember what a simpsons character looks like um it's not anybody's fault but um they were like it was technically nothing muffin who was like draw what you think the female protagonist will look like and this is kind of what happened um, so I'm not to blame, and Twitch can't put me in Twitch jail for it. Um, Marge, how about you simp on some bitches? Rachel says, you can make this a series. Have a good Bart day. <laughs> um, not to dox him. Um, but I have a friend who lives on a road that's called Bartman. I think it's Bartman Ave, or it's Bartman Drive. I can't remember, but he lives on Bartman. And I'm like, oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Reva says, but why are they wearing Crocs? Because Crocs are a great battle. Um, Crocs are just good battle footwear. You know, uh, we don't gotta... I don't gotta explain myself to you. Sometimes you just need good battle footwear. And sometimes the good... I don't know what Lisa looks like. Oh, God. Yes, open a new tab. Yes, look up Lisa Simpson. Man, if I die today, my fucking search history is going to be confusing. All right, Lisa. Be drawn good. <laughs> Lisa, I have one request. Please. Oh, God, this is terrible. Oh, God, crew. Crew, I'm so sorry. I used up all my artistic talent on fucking March. Okay? I'm like, we're it's garbage now. It's garbage. There's no way. I can't I can't come back from this, crew. I can't come back from this. There's no there's no way this can be saved, and I'm sorry. Not not like really sorry, but like at least a little bit sorry. I am slightly sorry. Um, okay. I didn't even sketch layer. All right, I'm going to quickly sketch layer what hopefully the rest of her body will be. Do, do, do. Um, do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> yeah, sketch layers are great. Also, she'll bear Crocs. Uh, <laughs> perfect. Sketch layer complete. She also has eyelashes, I now notice. All right. <laughs> I'd say the bottom cleavage is accurate. She's wearing Crocs with socks, too. Does he ever do the Bartman? He might. I don't know. Imagine living on Rainbow Road. Oh, man. It would be... You know what would be terrifying? Driving on Rainbow Road. If somebody's like, yeah, just take a left on Rainbow Road. I would be like, no, fuck you. I'm not coming to your house. I'm I'm never I'm never gonna visit you IRL because I am never driving on Rainbow Road. Why does Marge have an Audi belly button? Because I don't know how to draw. Maybe she does. Have you ever seen Marge's belly button? Don't fucking Google Marge's belly button. You think I'm gonna go on Twitch.tv and fucking Google Marge's belly button? Do you think that's a fucking thing I want on my fucking search history today? Out of everything I've already done, do you think that... Oh, God. This outfit for this other character of Fire Emblem I'm looking at looks terrible. It looks it looks like it's just like a napkin wrapped around a top. What? Listen. It's not that I don't like girls. I love girls. Girls are great. Girls are pretty. Um, they're, they're, they smell nice and they're usually soft. Like, I like girls. But damn... Damn if fucking Fire Emblem doesn't go. God damn, we don't know what fucking... We, we don't know what girl outfits look like. Like, fuck, this is fucking... This bitch has got like 900 ribbons on her and they barely cover her boobs, it looks like. Her, their, her outfit looks worse than what I made. Listen, I'm just saying, if I, Wazzy, 
make a better character outfit design than fucking a Fire Emblem character has, then I'm just going to say you're maybe doing something wrong. I'm just saying maybe... Maybe you need to look at your character designers and say, huh, let's 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 fire you guys and hire Wazzy. Hire Wazzy. Fucking she'll work for fucking a uh, fucking Frosty from fucking Wendy's. Shit. <laughs> you gar Google Marge's belly button and you will a hundred percent see porn. Exactly. She does have an innie. <laughs> That's most anime women. Hire Wazzy, the lady who could barely draw Lisa Simpson. Exactly. I didn't... Oh, I didn't do an okay job. Listen, for not at all ever doing an art class, I think I'm doing pretty okay. I think I think my art is tolerable. All right? I think I am doing an exceptionally good job for the amount of of brain power I have. I think for the the level of um instability that is currently in my brain i am doing a phenomenal job i think the amount of blatant disrespect i show to the art for the amount of blatant disrespect i show to the art community i think i'm doing a wonderful job All right, I gotta draw these stupid fucking ribbons. Um, man, I hate this. I hate this outfit. I can't wait to see somebody uh, cosplay this because this looks like a train wreck. I know there's already cosplayers that are already working on it. I know cosplayers. I know professional cosplayers. I know the people that somehow make money doing this. And fucking, I, I know these people. And I know, I know at least probably one of them, if not more, are currently going, how can I make, how do, how do I make this armor? I'm looking at every little scrap of fucking clip I can find to figure out how to make this armor. I know it, and it's terrible. And it's terrible. All right, here we go. This is your guys' fault. You think you draw the Simpsons better than when they were uh, on Family Guy. So, oh, okay, I'll take... You know what? I'll take that. Listen, if I could draw Simpsons... If I could... Listen, if I can draw Simpsons good enough to curse some person, that's all, that's all that matters to me. I just want to curse one dude. I just want to make one dude wake up and go, Ah, time to look at Marge Simpson on the internet. And I just want his life to be destroyed. I just want... I just want some dude to not have a good time. <laughs> I know we're all about having a good time here, but I just want some dude, some random dude I don't know on the internet to have a bad time. Looking up Marge Simpson. How does this outfit even go? This is so fucking confusing to me. I gotta bring this up. I gotta bring this fucking... I gotta... I gotta put this on screen. That's Hubert. That was what I was drawing earlier. Um... Alright. I gotta bring this girl up. You gotta see this girl. You gotta look at this outfit I'm looking at. Um... This characters. Where is she? Uh, there we go. Okay, copy image. This is the character I'm trying to currently draw. Look at that top. You tell me what the fuck is happening here. You tell me what the fuck is happening. You tell me what the fuck you think I'm drawing. <laughs> Roy says, then his face melts like that Indiana Jones guy. Exactly. That's what I want. That's all I want. I just want to ruin someone's day just a little bit. And I hope I have. I hope you woke up today and were like, man, I can't wait to have an art request stream. And then this happened and you were like, wow, I can't, I can't wait for this to be the last day I have eyes. All right. She's got some kind of gem in the middle of the ribbons up top. I don't fucking know what's going on here. 
Um, fuck. And then she's got the ribbons on her arms, but then they also go into gloves. Um, fuck. Perfect. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Good enough. Good a fuck enough, I say. <laughs> Ah, oh, pizza's here. Eats the pizza. Says, yo, what up? I just got done working. Guess what? We've done nothing but crimes today. We woke up in the morning and we did crimes. Somebody said, do, do nice art today. And you know what I told them? I said, not on Twitch TV, I'm not. And here's where we are. Bot says, oh my God, I love this, Wazzy. You just made uh, my day better. Deal with it. No, listen, if I find out one of you dudes is out there like, oh yeah, I love me some marginally good day. I'm going to be so disappointed in y'all. All I want is for you guys to take the marginally good day um, and send it to your friend for their birthday. That's all I want. I don't ask for a lot in this life. All I ask is that you curse somebody else with it. Um, and that's, and that's, I think, a good, a good thing. Oh, God, I got to try to put this on fucking spiky head Magoo here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, what the fuck is this crown thing? Somebody tell me what the fuck is happening here. <laughs> what, what am I looking at? Um, all right. Um, butterflies, like... Hatsa, like fucking Miku. Uh, <laughs> He's the pizza says the only crimes is this crew. I mean, that's true. Ribbon choking her lingerie corset. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a look. <laughs> we did a wholesome art stream one day. Roy, it's never gonna happen. Roy, do you ever think this fucking crew that we collectively as one brain cell are ever gonna come together and be, gonna be like, you know what we need? Just nice art. You know, you know what we need is just some nice little, like, puppies and kittens and stuff. Just some fucking regular ass stream. Did you know there's streamers out there right now that are just having a great time that don't wake up and are, and are like, hey, draw Marge Simpson um, as a Colgate. That wasn't even the request, but I'm going to claim when when I am on my deathbed and when Satan's looking at me and Satan's like, why would you do this? I'm going to I'm going to say, listen, it's not my fault. I was I was under duress. They made me do it. I was. Oh, my God. There's like little flowers and stuff on top. What the fuck? Mm, man, man, this is. This is the worst this is the worst hat I've ever seen. This is the worst. Who fucking invented this? I would like to talk to the character designer immediately. What is this wet garbage? What this is this is just the worst. <laughs> this is this is the worst thing we have ever laid eyes on. <laughs> okay, all right. Whoop says it doesn't help that uh she's gold and it's or that it's gold and she's blonde, so you can't see shit. I know, they should have made her hair dark or something. If you're going to give her a really light-colored fucking crown ensemble going on here, it doesn't help that her um, she's going to be yellow because she's Lisa Simpson. Like, they should have thought of that. Listen, listen here, character designers. Always make sure that your character design is able to be Simpson-fied. Because you never know when some Twitch streamer that's just trying to have a nice Wednesday morning is going to have to fucking look at your character design and go, well, now it's got to be yellow. Like, you never you never fucking know when that's going to happen. And, like, I implore you guys, if, the, if, if your career job is character design, um, don't fucking do this. Just, it's super, it's super fucking easy. Um, and you know what? You guys have been good. You guys have been putting up with my cursed shit all day, all morning. Um, I don't think there's a reason I shouldn't give you guys a little spoiler. If you're into that. If you're into that. When I'm finished this, um, I'll give you guys a chance to leave if you do not wish to see spoiler. Um, but I'll, I've, got, I've got a little bit of animation done. Um, and I'll give, you, I'll give you one whole spoiler. It, it'll be like a two-second spoiler. It's... It's fucking... 
It's nothing. It'll be a Ferdinand joke because that's unfortunately all I've animated so far is Ferdinand jokes. Mostly because my Ferdinand um, got his voice lines to me like immediately. So I was very quick to get um, Ferdinand jokes done. Um, so it is going to be for the Fire Emblem video. For free? Yeah, totally 100% for free. <laughs> no scheme here. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll fucking do it. Okay, there's got to be flowers and shit man this is terrible it's got to be what you got to wait until i'm done so you gotta you gotta fucking you gotta deal with the cursed before you're allowed to see anything that's halfway decent but i will gladly show you guys a little spoiler room <laughs> ferdinand the bull no ferdinand from fire emblem who's much better and much wittier at least in my opinion uh there's also a video coming out fuck what day is it it's wednesday oh there's a video out tomorrow um i have a little i have a little animation out tomorrow so you guys can enjoy that i'm not going to show you a spoiler from that um because that comes out tomorrow and you should just fucking watch it um but i will give you one for fire emblem <laughs> bernadetta may be shy but he's ferdinand vaughn shire da -da 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 -da. i think i used that one did i not use shire before pretty sure i did anyway this one has some of the worst ferdinand jokes i've ever made in my entire life so i hope you guys are ready for that there's there was literally points i had to explain to the voice actor why this was a joke and why i thought this was funny <laughs> so it's gonna be terrible is what i'm trying to say to you all right let's uh let's get lisa colored here all right um Oh, she doesn't have any socks on with her Crocs. Hold on. We can't allow this. This can't go on like that. We'll fix that up. Don't worry. Don't worry, crew. I won't fucking abandon you like that. I won't let you down. <laughs> I won't I won't fucking disappoint you like that. <laughs> Not on this stream. <laughs> Perfect. That's fucking, that's, that's just the tit swazi. Good job. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm going to make her crux this color. That's her ribbons and her weird corset bra thing. Again, I still don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, the, that's your guys' problem. Uh, another muffin says, I recently stumbled uh, onto the cover quest between Billy and Robbie, and that made me Ferdinand von Cryer. Yeah, it is sad. I am dedicating um, the video to um, Billy Kometz, but I'm sad I never got to meet him. I never had the opportunity, as it were. Um, all right. And then she's got, oh, the hand, the fucking ribbons on her hand are pink. I'm sorry, terrible design. I'm just shittily color picking. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care anymore. But I will make her socks very white. There we go. Perfect. So all this art will be up for you guys in the Discord. Um, to send to your friends to hope they have a marginally good birthday. Um... And whatever else it is you do with friends. I don't know. I don't know what you and your friends are like. If you want to fucking curse them, that's your own business. I'm not I'm not here to tell you to not send your friends the worst things you've ever seen in your life. I have friends and I send them the worst things I've ever seen in my life. That's just how friends do. Um anyway, here here we go. Here is I hope you have a marginally good birthday. Um, I gotta move this over to the side so y'all can see it better. Here we go. There we go. Um, have a marginally good birthday. Uh, <laughs> let's go through the art and then we'll end the prediction and, uh, and then I'll show you guys a little spoiler. Then we'll raid somebody. Um, all right. So we'll just do this one first since we're already here. Have a marginally good birthday. You know, especially, you know, fucking, how do we fit Lisa in the pun? Um, fuck. At least uh, not on fire. 
Yeah. Have, I hope you have a marginally good birthday. At Lisa not on fire. Get it? Because it's a joke on, on, on fucking, at least, at least a, fuck it. This is funny. Fuck you. Fuck you. I tried the best. Fuck, fuck you. I tried, I tried, I, I, I tried fucking, I tried my best. Anyway, let's go on to the other art. Um, here is a goat that's also, um, a dandelion. So, um, fucking enjoy that. So that's one, that's two. My third art request was a pumpkin cat with totally not a dinky, um, which is three. I've got Pups sleeping and Jake the de the dog dancing with Pups, which is technically two, I think. I did kind of mash it together. Uh, and then I got a pickle cat. So I've got one, two, three, four, f five, six. Technically, I did six, but not really. One, two, three, four, five. Technically, only five arts came out for prediction. So technically, I'm going to call it five. I'm going to call it five. I'm going to say five or less arts. There you go. Um, so I'm going to put those all up in the Discord for you. Let's get you guys a little spoilery. Um, let's open recent... Fawn satire. This is what I was working on beforehand. When I started the stream and we were on this, it's actually Hubert. Um, he just doesn't have the rest of his body colored yet. And you can kind of see Ferdinand hanging out behind him because I needed to get the same size. Um, just, just, just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Which one do I want to show you guys? Um, which one's this? Okay. Yeah, you know what? We'll show you this one. We're here. Let's show you this one. All right, crew. Here is your little spoiler. Here's a little Ferdinand joke for you. Um, so, um, so, so here you go. Um, <laughs> Ferdinand Van Sat Von Satire. So here you go. Here's a little. Here's a little spoiler. Good thing you asked for my assistance, Chez. I am the best, Ferdinand Von Classifier. It's a little bit of a stretch. It's a little bit of a stretch of a joke, um, but but it works. Um, I'll show you guys the one. Oh no, not that one. This is the one I'm working on where I'm drawing Hubert. Um, where is Ferdinand on this one? What layer is he? There he is. I will show you this because I just recently mouth matched it, and unfortunately, uh, Hubert is on top of it. Um, there we go. <laughs> we gotta zoom out. Um, here we go. This, I did Ferdinand this morning, so here we go. If we need more info on the enemy, pick me! I'm a great Ferdinand von spy -er. I just, I really like, the voice actor is, um, Henry, and I just, I love the way he inflects on shit. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to refund your guys' uh, points if I didn't, um, do your art today. I'm going to put all your art up in the Discord. Don't you boo me, Roy. Um, let's go find somebody to raid. Let's go see if any of my friends are alive and not dead. Um, let's see. Um... You know what? Let's go... Yeah, let's go get Roxa. Actually, I don't actually know how to pronounce the name. I call them Rox. I have no idea. Let's go get Rox. Uh, looks like he's drawing maybe a vampire. He's drawing with more teeth. Um, he's, draw he's drawing teeth right now. It looks like he's drawing an anime girl with teeth. So you know what? Like, fucking let's do it. Let's go. Let's go raid him. Let's go see what he's up to. Um, it looks like a vampire teeth thing. Uh, thank you guys for fucking chilling out today. Um, I appreciate you. Um, fucking until next time, don't forget to kick names and take ass. I will be back Friday. There's a new video out tomorrow. Um, and then Friday I'll be back uh, with work and I'll be working on Fire Emblem shit. Um, so yeah, um, I'll go put your art up. Um, until next time, uh, fucking bye. Bye.